I really had the feeling, okay, this was a real good run. But when I cro I, I didn't I didn't think that it was that good. I was never never leading a race uh, after after 18, 19 uh, guys. Mais c'est une fierté de gagner Gisbull parce que tu dis j'ai vaincu la, la, plus, la descente la plus difficile au monde. C'est vraiment quelque chose de spécial. Je crois qu'on rentre dans un cercle ici très fermé euh, du vrai descendeur ou du descendeur qui a, qui a, qui a vécu, qui a vaincu pendant la, la strife. So far, I have really no words. I was dreaming since ever that I wanted to win Kitzbühel. It's to be able to to call myself a, a Kitzbühel winner, a downhill Kitzbühel winner, it's just amazing. Après c'est Banzai, après faut arriver à l'heure là-bas. Hein. <rire> C'est-à-dire arriver, arriver à l'heure, faut pas être sur les talons, faut, faut être. Euh, voilà, c'est le genre de choses que je te dis qu'il qu faut savoir où tu mets les spatules, c'est que tac, tac, puis là je dois être à l'heure. Envie, ça fait envie, descendre sur autre chose. <rire> Un descendeur, normalement ça va pas avoir peur. Hein. Un descendeur, ça, il aime la descente. Mais la première fois que tu arrives avec une bulle, tu es quand même un peu euh, surpris. Tu te dis dans le bleu, je ne descends pas, moi là. <rire> Il n'y a qu'une piste qui est comme ça qui demande un courage énorme. Le Steiland, où je me souviens la première fois où je suis arrivé, euh, ces deux portes vraiment alignées l'une euh, au-dessus de l'autre. Et quand on voit ça, on dit Mais là, on ne peut pas descendre tout droit en bas, il y a la bâche euh, qui fait un 90 degré. Je crois que c'était un français. <rire> qui disait oh, « moi, il ne me fait pas peur », mais il avait 9, 9 secondes de retard. Toi, si tu descends en chasse-neige, tu pas peur, c'est bien clair. Sur ce genre de piste, ce qui est important, ce qui est difficile, c'est de trouver sa limite jusqu'où je suis capable d'aller. For sure, it's kind of playing a little bit with your life, but when I'm at the start, I'm not thinking about it. If you're at, at the start and you kind of get the feeling that it's about just keeping alive. Then you're not pushing and uh, if you're not pushing, like I said before, you're not attacking the course and then the course attacks you. L'autre jour, j'ai fait une interview pour la télévision suisse romande. On me dit, en un mois, c'est quoi qui te bulle Moi, j'ai dit, brutal, tu vois. Là, on est tout de suite dans le match. Je veux dire, après 30 secondes, t'as 100 l'op, tu dois faire mausephalé, compression, Thailand derrière. J'ai connu des descendeurs qui, avaient, qui étaient très bons sur d'autres pistes et puis qui, à qui de bulles, ils n'en prenaient pas une, toi. Si vous voulez vous appeler un skieur de downhill, vous devez skier à Kitzbühel. Je pense que tout le monde peut être fier de croire la ligne de finish. Line. Check, 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 check. Normally, you know, in the normal World Cup races from, from the first training already, you, t you start to push because you want to ski fast. But here, first training, you just have to manage the course. Thomas, on le voit arriver depuis un certain temps. Il a déjà fait un podium à Nidorfrique en début de saison. Il est, en, il est sur une forme ascendante tout le temps depuis le début de saison. Il prend de l'expérience de plus en plus. Il est, il est de plus en plus sûr de lui. C'est un gabarit, c'est un vrai descendeur et il va claquer fort. I'm always the kind of a guy that's kind of different at race days, you know, because in training, on trainings, uh, it's it's difficult to me to to really push for the limit because I I think yeah, it's a training run. Il analyse beaucoup lors des entraînements. Il apprend, il apprend encore beaucoup les pistes. On ne connaît pas encore très bien les pistes parce qu'il est jeune. Il n'a pas beaucoup de beaucoup d'expérience, mais il est capable d'accélérer le jour de la course. The first training. I was struggling a lot uh, in, at the exit of, of the steep part. They made uh, a big mistake there, and it continued uh, 
through that week. And after Super G, I said, come on, it can't be serious, you know. It, you have to be able to manage it because if you don't ski it well, you don't take any speed into the flat part and if you lose the, the time you lose there, no chance you gain it again. race day you need to prepare different than to training runs. I always try to build up some mental toughness for the race. You can prepare for it, but during skiing it's always uh, you always get some new impressions and that's what I love about it. I remember everything because when I was uh, at the start I it was kind of a different feeling in my body and I really was motivated like hell. I just tried to, to push out of the gates and then Mausefalle already the jump was really far. To the next part, the Uhakal, I just tried to let the skis run and not hold on the line too much there. Steilhang entry was also pretty good because I, I, I was able to keep the turn tight. So I had a lot of time to prepare for the exit of Steilhang and so I had really nearly no problems at all there and uh, gained a lot of speed to the flat part and in the flat part I really had the feeling that my skis were really fast because they were kind of really slipping away from me and I had to get after them so that I was not stay in a good position. Then Alte Schneise to Seidelalm, I really had the feeling it's, it, that it's been uh, faster than the days before. And then uh, when I got to, to the Hausberg, I was really kind of surprised because I had some really good light there. It was sunny there. So I thought, no, it's not a bad side for me. And yeah, when I just went over Hausberg Kante, I, the line was perfect. When I went uh, past the last gate in the traverse, I just tried to let the skis run over the finish jump. And then during skiing, it, it just felt like, yeah, everything works perfectly. And so yesterday was really perfect run for me, yeah. time he, he comes to the finish line, uh, I feel like a bomb. He always say he wants to, to win uh, one time Kitzbühel. And I think, yes, it's okay, but, but not yet. It's, it's amazing. It was his dream, uh, the time uh, he was six, seven years old. When I cross the finish line, you know, the, the time timing board is, is really far down in the finish. And so when I crossed the line, I just saw one. But I thought at the beginning it's 11, because I didn't think I was that fast. And then when I skied further down into the finish, I recognized that, it's, uh, that I was in the lead. And then uh, it, it kind of broke out of me and I just wanted, wanted to shout out and, and really... I had to, to party. I'm, I'm a real uh, big emotional guy and so if it works well I show emotions and if it's bad I also show it. I'm just overwhelmed with, with the feelings and I really try to, to suck up everything from the prize giving and it's, it's been really a, a, an amazing day yesterday. Yeah.